Welcome to our panel discussion about LIMS upgrades, Ask the Experts. My name is Megan, I'm the marketing coordinator here at CSOS and I'll be your host today. Today is a special webinar for you folks because rather than a standard PowerPoint presentation, we're gonna be talking live to three of our CSOS consultants, but I'm not alone today. Hosting today's panel discussion with me is one of our delivery directors, Bob Jackson, a longtime CSOS employee and no stranger to the lab informatics field. Say hi, Bob. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Before Bob gives you the rundown about how today will work, let me do a quick overview of CSOS. So CSOS is the leading North American-based laboratory informatics consultancy. We provide strategic planning and selection for those who don't have a LIMS, ELN, CDS, and need help getting prepped for one and figuring out which of the products to select. Um, all the stuff around implementation, such as enhancements, upgrades, system integrations, or instrument interfacing. Computer system validation services, including um, lab system audits, um, data integrity audits, and data and analytics services for when you want to have all your organization's data in one place to make better decisions, better business decisions. We love the role we take with our clients because it allows us to be their guiding hand, advise them on the best solutions that will best fit their needs and making sure they get everything that they need to be successful. Also, um, we know that we think it's great if you can do a project alone, but in case you need help, we're here to help you. Um, and you can check out more about our services at CSOSync.com. All right, my last note is today's session is being re recorded. Um, and a link will be sent out in tomorrow in an email. Um, and it'll also be available on our resources page of our website. Um, so that's it for me. And I'm going to pass it over to Bob and he'll share how today will flow. Oh, great, thanks, Megan. Uh, today's webinar is different from our usual webinar. We'll be holding a panel discussion about limbs upgrades. A panel of limbs upgrades upgrade experts will share their knowledge and wisdom to help you through uh, your next upgrade project, no matter what limbs you're using. So this is how the next hour will work. Uh, first, we'll start by asking our panel the questions you submitted in advance when you first registered. Uh, then we'll move on to a Q&A session where you can submit questions through the GoToWebinar questions panel and then will answer until our time runs out. Our panel of experts for today are a group of CSOL senior LIMS consultants, all with a different background in the various LIMS products. Uh, Randy Keane, Tuan Nguyen, and Mike Pykooch. First of all, let's start off with Randy. Give us a quick overview of yourself. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Randy Keane. Uh, I am a senior sample manager LIMS consultant with CSOLS. Um, I have worked with sample manager LIMS for over 25 years, um, primarily doing development and upgrade projects, implementation projects, um, and also business analysis. Um, I have experience with design development uh, support even. Uh, I know some of the interfaces that come with Sample Manager and also some specially developed ones at the different projects I've worked on. Um, so I'm very familiar with laboratory processes and the data flow, workflow, et cetera. Uh, I've got experience in the chemical, petrochemical and pharmaceutical industry. Um, my education is from University of Memphis. I have a couple of electrical engineering degrees and when I'm not working in my spare time, I like to spend time with my wife and two kids, and I also like hunting and fishing. Thanks, Randy. Uh, next we have uh, Tuan. Hello, everyone. My name is Tuan Nguyen. I'm a senior informatics consultant um, here at CISO. I've been with CISO about five years. Um, I've been working in the laboratory informatics uh, support and development for the past about 20 years. My area of expertise are sample manager and solids. I work on various uh, development, lens development project, uh, instrument integration, or um, external uh, system integration. 
uh, also multiple working on multiple upgrade project and uh, providing uh, consulting services. Um, my industry expertise are manufacturing, petrochemical, um, foods, clinical, and recently public health. My education, I have a bachelor degree in information management system at the CNM of Corpus Christi. In my spare time, I love fishing and gardening. That's a little bit about me. Back to you, Bob. Thanks, Juan. Uh, Mike? Hey everyone, my name is Mike Pykuch. I'm a Labor Limbs consultant for Seasols, and I've been working with Seasols actually for over seven years, coming up on eight here soon. But I've been working with Labware for over 10 years, um, some larger uh, worldwide systems. Some of my projects has included obviously uh, upgrading of the systems, uh, also some ERP integration, instrument integration, and just general process improvements all throughout Labware. Um, similar to some of the other guys' backgrounds, my industry experience is biopharma, petrochemical, industrial gases, and uh, even aerospace materials. So a little background on my education. I got my bachelor's in microbiology at The Ohio State University. And after that, went into uh, food safety as a microbiologist. Uh, I specialize looking for uh, pathogens in food. And some of my hobbies are when I'm at the home office, I enjoy beating Megan at pool. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Um, so uh, now we're gonna move into the question phase. Before that, I'm going to We'll go back to displaying the video on screen. And first, uh, a question from the list of submitted questions is, how do I know it's time uh, to upgrade my limbs? So Randy, would you like to kick that off? Yes, uh, I'll take that one. So one of, one of the big drivers I see is, uh, and this is well known in the sample manager area, that uh, the, the older versions no longer are supported by the vendor. And it's well known in sample manager that after a version is five years old, that the Thermo Fisher drops support for that. So that's one of the big drivers. Thanks, so uh, Tuan? Yep, um, I agree with uh, Randy, in addition to um, the to that, um, I also have experience about company um, doing the upgrade because of their uh, limb server operating system uh, running on Windows and it might be running out of support as well. And your IT infrastructure team uh, might require you to upgrade uh, your Windows server operating system for your limb system. On top of that, uh, there might be a need for uh, converting your database or upgrade your database uh, either to another platform, for example, maybe from Oracle to SQL Server for licensing costs and support and maintenance costs um, uh, for purposes. So that's uh, some of the typical I, I see that uh, companies uh, you know, uh, think that it's time for upgrade. Back to you, Mark. Great, thanks, Tuan. Uh, Mike, anything to add? Yeah, I think in addition to what they mentioned on especially the labware side, uh, you might be able to run an older version of the system, but you won't have access to some of the newer modules that might make your life easier or give you functionality that you didn't have before. Um, also, some of your existing modules may lose support over time. But I think for me, some of the biggest reasons to upgrade is just performance. So either whether you're upgrading your hardware or database type, um, just upgrading in versions typically has a system running faster. Right, that's a good point. The technology is getting better every year. Um, so uh, our next question is,